Hey, thanks for joining me today. In this screencast, I'm going to take you through the simple steps on how to update your profile in the Moodle. So here, we've already gone to cmsteacherpd.org, and this is the Moodle for CMS. In the upper right-hand corner, I'm going to click on Log In. You can also log in down at the bottom, it says log in, but I'm going to choose the upper right hand corner because we're going to be coming back to that in just a second. When I go to log in, it's going to have my username already in there because I've already logged in at least once. So I'm going to go ahead and type in my same five digit code that I used to get into my PD. Once I've typed in my username and password, I'm going to click on log in. Once I've logged in, you'll notice it has the classes that I'm involved with. I'm only involved with one class at the moment. And again, in the upper right hand corner, you will see your name, who you're logged in as. Up here is where you can change your profile. So I'm going to click on my name. When you click on your name, it brings up my profile. Now my profile is already kind of in there. I put in a quick bio of myself and I added the things that I needed to add. So we're going to go ahead and do that together. After profile, you'll see the words edit profile. That's what I want to do. I want to edit my profile. Click on edit profile. When edit profile opens, you will notice that there are just a few red spots. You only need to fill in the red spots. You don't need to fill in any of these green little dots. Just the red ones. Those are the required ones. Your description, make it something simple. Mine I just pulled from one of my Twitter feeds. I didn't um, write it new. Actually, I think I pulled that from my blog, but nonetheless, only need to fill in these things. You don't need to put very much in them. We just want you to, we want to know a little bit about you. And here is the picture. We're asking you to upload a professional picture. It can be anything that has to do with you. It does not have to be your picture. But you choose something that is you. So if you're a librarian or a media specialist and you're into books, you can use books. It's totally fine. I like to use a picture because we're going to be hanging out together over the course of the next year, having a lot of fun on these, and it's always fun and exciting to see the faces that we're working with. So how am I going to upload my picture? Right here, I see the word browse, so I'm going to click on browse. Now this means I actually already have a picture waiting to be uploaded. I do. I have a picture that's saved somewhere on my hard drive. I could have gone out on the internet and got a picture. You can use a camera like the one I'm talking to right now, and you can take a picture and save it and use it. You can use any picture if you've got it somewhere in your computer. I always like to pull that picture out to the desktop, give it a name, and so it's easy to use when I want to, up to upload it to a social media site like Moodle. So I'm going to click on Browse. In Browse I'm going to go to my desktop because that's where I said I like to keep my pictures of social media pictures. And I know I have one in here called Tim 3.0, so I'm going to scroll through all my wonderful files and there it is, Tim 3.0. It's just the third version of a picture that I have. And I'm going to click Open. Here it is. It says, OK, we're going to use this new picture. It's on your hard drive. And again, you don't have to fill any of these out, but these are my uh, connections. Here we go and then Update Profile. When I update Profile, it's going to take the changes that I made and put them in place. That file was the same file, so you're not going to see my picture change because that is Tim 3.0. That's how you go ahead, update your profile, and update your picture. Enjoy, and we look forward to working with you.